The Teller Scholars started 40 years ago, in 1973, when the idea of doing a whole concert of, of Renaissance music was pretty unusual. Um, we thought the public wouldn't come and there was no future in it. But um, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to pursue a sound that I had in my head. I had a, I had a perfect, a sort of perfect ideal sound. By some miracle, right in the first concert in 1973, I hit the formula that, that we've stuck with. How we stood on the stage in our semicircle so they could react to each other's look and how they were singing. And this number, not too many, is basically two voices to a part, which actually was quite revolutionary in those days. Everyone said in those days that two voices to a part was the most difficult way of singing. Three was easier, one was easier, because the three would sort of naturally form a blend but the interesting thing about two is that it's actually more precise, it's more vulnerable and they have to work harder to get it. For a singer, it has to do a number of things at once. You have to blend with the person I've asked them to sing with and produce a line, then make that line musical. And they have to listen to all the other lines in the, in the semicircle um, and they vaguely have to watch me as well. You've got to listen really carefully. It's like a string quartet at work. I like that analogy. This music is very chamber music-like, and the parts interact very, very quickly sometimes. So they need to be alert to all these different things. It's a, it's a tremendous test of musicianship, and very, very satisfying when it works, I tell you.